testimony, I at first felt like I didn't really have much to say. And then God showed me that it's not about me and it's not about what I've done. It's about what God has done in me and for me. So I wanted to share with you the things that God has done for me. I know I can't share everything, but the things that have really helped to bring me to where I am today. Um, the first thing was that God allowed me to be born into a family where I knew about God from the time I could hear and understand. And I was taught about God and taught how to live a good moral life. And that's not how or why I became a Christian. God ha still had to show me that I was lost. He saved me regardless of my upbringing, not because of it. And in some ways, I think it can almost be a stumbling block to you know, be brought up doing good things. God has to show you you're a sinner because society thinks that you're already good. But God is able to do that. He tells us that all of us have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And he is able to show each one of us that so that we don't have to so that we're not going to rely on the good things that we have done. Um, about 20 years ago, God brought some special people into my family's life. <laughs> I didn't realize um, when we met them that I was meeting my future husband. <laughs> but God used them to show my parents what it means to truly be born again. Um, it was Brother Tim and Sister Julie. And our families have been very good friends since then. And they have, um, they first taught my parents and then um, I observed and listened to their teaching and my parents' teaching. And I've learned so much through that. And I thank God so much for bringing our families together. My parents had been raised in at least nominally Christian homes, and that's how they were raised, but they didn't fully understand what it meant to be born again. And once they learned, their lives changed. And I was, um, when I got older, I all of a sudden looked back and realized, oh, mom and dad don't lose their tempers anymore. <laughs> they had changed, God had changed them and their faith was, became real in their lives. And I'm so thankful for what he did in my parents' lives because I know that he used their faith to help bring me to him. God protected me in my adolescent and teenage years. He protected me from open rebellion against my parents. I wasn't, even though my heart wasn't changed, and I still did things that have consequences, things that I have to live with the consequences, but he still protected me from going out into the world and bringing heartache to my parents and other family members, and I'm so thankful for that. I remember there was one day where I was sitting there and I was fed up with everything, and I thought I should just give it all up and just turn my back on everything. Why should I even keep trying and living like a hypocrite? And there was just a check in my spirit that prevented me from doing that. And I know it was the Lord. I know that he protected me even though I wasn't living for him. God kept patiently waiting for me and calling me. When I was seven, I asked Jesus into my heart because that's what I saw all my friends doing, but it didn't mean anything to me. It was just from peer pressure. But I still, I thought that I was saved. And every 
two or three years, I would hear a sermon or read something that would convict me that I wasn't living like a Christian should. And so each time I would pray and try to get the words right so that this time I was really saved. But, and I think God, I was sincere in wanting to do what was right, even though I didn't know what that was that I was supposed to do. And I think God used those times to prepare my heart for salvation, even though it wasn't salvation prayers that I was praying. And God has shown me how he uses hard things in our lives for good and to accomplish his will. There were a couple times growing up where I didn't have any close friends and I really, I struggled with depression. And the hardest time was when I was 16. And I kept praying that the Lord would take me because I didn't feel like it was worth going through life anymore. And I knew that suicide was wrong, but I just thought maybe God can just take me and that'll be another way out. And it was a really dark time, but I praise God for it now because he used that time to bring me to him. It was my loneliness and desperation that God used to convince me that I couldn't live life on my own. And he finally, he brought me to the point where I cried out to him and I started surrendering every area of my life that I could think of to him. But Satan wasn't, after I did that, I had peace. And I knew that that was what God had been calling me to. But Satan wasn't ready to give up on me. And the next morning I actually had the worst battle with Satan that I had had yet. And he tried to get me to take my life. But God gave me a will to live. That was the first time in probably a year that instead of asking God to take me, I cried out, God, I don't want to die. He had showed me that there was something worth living for. I know there are different reasons that people have depression, but I realized that it was a spiritual battle for me, for me. And I'm so thankful that God won that battle for me. I had never felt a desire to be baptized until that point. Most of my friends got baptized when they were 10 or 12 and it was kind of a thing to do. And around that age, someone asked me if I had thought about getting baptized and I truthfully said, no, I hadn't thought about it. I hadn't, I hadn't died to self yet, and people who aren't dead aren't ready to be buried. <laughs> but after that same morning, or that afternoon, I talked to mom and told her I wanted to be baptized. I, I had died to myself, and I was ready to be buried and to be risen with Christ. And there had been a lot of church problems that we had gone through and another thing that kind of held me back from being baptized was who's going to baptize me? I don't know which church we're going to go to. It's just going to be embarrassing. But when God saved me and showed me that he wanted me to be baptized, I didn't care. I told mom, I'm ready to be baptized. Dad can baptize me or whatever. <laughs> and I was baptized the next Sunday. I'm so thankful that God can remove any barriers. He can give you the grace to overcome any problems. Um, there have been 
there have been times where I wasn't as close to the Lord as I should have been. And I can look back and see how any time I drifted from the Lord, he was always there to bring me back. He was always there to place me under conviction, to put something in my path, to turn me back to the right way. I'm so thankful that he doesn't give up on us, that he doesn't say, okay, now you're on the straight and narrow, stay there. <laughs> he guides us. He's given us his Holy Spirit, and he is there to guide us. Um, since then, God has brought godly friends into my life who have been an encouragement and have helped me to grow. He brought Paul and me together in a very wonderful way. He asked us both to give each other up before he brought us together, and it was very hard for us. But we are both now so glad that he brought us through that, and I am so thankful for Paul. I'm thankful that God has something better in store for me too. I don't know what else he's gonna bring me through. I know that he is preparing me for something better. And he's gonna keep working at me like a potter works on a clay vessel, constantly molding it and forming it until it's perfect. And I thank him for that. <laughs>